So, you know, another brother who found out about uh, that the declaration was BS was Dred Scott. Remember, he went, y'all know Dred Scott? He went to court to sue for his freedom. And they said, you're not even a citizen. Right. Can you speak on that? I got the uh, paperwork at home on it. Anyway, he was, um, like, like the bishop said, he tried to sue. And they had to bring up the Constitution. They said, you're not, in, you're not entitled to sue anybody because you're not even recognized as a citizen. Exactly. So exactly. the whole thing was plaintiff in error. They just threw the whole thing out of court, out of, out of the, out of, out of the uh, court. Right. The Supreme Court ruled that black Americans, whether slave or free, could not be citizens and could not sue in federal court. So from that time on, you had black codes, you had Jim Crow laws, and the Jim Crow laws that stipulated that we were not citizens and did not have rights, even in vote. You ever hear black people say our ancestors died for the right to vote? <sighs> Let me tell you something. The Voting Rights Act of 1965, let me say it again. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 amended, amended Jim Crow laws that stipulated we were not citizens. Your friendly neighborhood white man, Lyndon B. Johnson, he authorized the Voting Rights Act of 1965. It guaranteed white citizens by the 14th and 15th Amendments in the Constitution it allowed us temporary, temporary, it allowed, temporarily allowed blacks and Latinos the right to vote. Let me tell you something. Can we get the next clip about Selma? Let me tell you something about the Jim Crow laws. Let me tell you this. Listen, listen good, listen good. Jim Crow laws imposed voting restrictions on us. The voting restriction was that if we went to vote, we had to prove. Listen, you black people and you Latin people. Listen good. We had to prove we were literate. Meaning we had to read, we had to stand before the white man and read something of his choosing to prove we were literate to get a right to vote. Not only that, we, they had something called poll tax under that, but we had to pay a tax also if we wanted to vote. Then we had to prove that we owned property if we wanted to vote. Then there was a morality test. Listen good what I'm saying. Jim Crow enforced a morality test on us as well where they questioned us, questioned our morality, and determined whether we understood right and wrong. These are the things they put us through. So now in 1965, Lyndon B. Johnson said, well, let's amend that because of the King thing and all of that. Let me show you the clip with Oprah in Selma. Can we look at that clip real quick to show you? You work for Mr. Dunn down at the rest home, ain't that right? Yes, sir. I wonder what old Don will say when I tell him one of his gals down here stirring a fuss. I ain't stirring no fuss. I'm just here trying to register the vote. Recite the Constitution's preamble. You know what a preamble is? We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union. How many county judges in Alabama? 67. Name them. That's what was going on. So now you may ask, but that was back in 1965. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 is still pertinent today. It has to be reauthorized every 25 years. They didn't get that, Bishop. They thought they, they, thought they were regular citizens. Just like white folks, they don't never have to go through this. Why is it that black people have to go through this process every 25 years? This particular thing have to always be re-looked at and extended. Exactly. Causing... 2006, our voting rights was up. Blacks had to go down there, cry and cry. Then they had to reauthorize it in 2000. Look it up. They re allowed us to vote back again in 2006. They said the next one will be the year 2031. 2031, we have no right to vote. We now have to go back to Congress and beg for a right to vote. You just shocked the monkey. You know that. Because a lot of people did not understand. They need that. to. They need to be. Do you shocked. know you just shocked the hell out of them. They were like, "No, that can't be. This, there's something wrong with that." 
Great America. Okay, you got Voting <laughs> Rights Act Amendments of 1970. Congress enacted major amendments to the act in 1970, 1975, 1982, 1992, and 2006. Each amendment coincided with an impending expira expiration of some or all of the act's special provisions. Uh, uh, where does it uh, originally set to expire by 1970? Congress repeatedly reauthorized the special provisions in recognition of continuing voting discrimination. Congress extended the coverage formula and special provisions tied to it, such as the Section 5 preclearance requirements for five years in 1970, seven more years in 1975, and 25 years in both 1982 and 2006. That's what I was talking about. So it has to be reauthorized for, to give blacks and Latinos a right to vote, proving we are not what? Citizens. citizens. We are not citizens in the meaning of the word. We are what's called denizens. Denizens. Can we look up that word now? Because our people in La La Land, we are in La La stupid land. Yeah, we are citizens of the United States. You ain't no damn citizen. I got the right to vote. My ancestor died for the right to vote. We're going to talk about that, too. Give me a second. Let me look how, how much time we got. All right. Come on. We got it. Okay. Denizen. An, inha an inhabitant or occupant of a particular place. Let me jump down next one. A foreigner allowed certain rights in the adopted country. That fits us more than anything. We don't fit the, de the citizen definition. Where, is it? Where you at? I, you know I can't see. Cinnamon. Inhabitant. Inhabitant, resident, townsman, townswoman, native. Right. Occupant. That's, a, that's what we fit under. Right. All temporary. That's what we fall under. And our people, I don't know. What's, I do know what's wrong with us. Let me stop. I know what's wrong with us. Can you get me that, uh, I, Captain Isaac, Deuteronomy 1715 about you voting? Now you want to vote for a president, right? Here's what God said about voting for a president. Now, this is not talking about, oh, I'm voting for a shop steward, because people get stupid. What we're about to read is talking about setting a king, or what we call today a president, over us. Deuteronomy 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. You can only choose one from among your brethren to be king over you. Read. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Y'all hear that? You, it is illegal, according to God, to set a stranger over you, which is not of your brethren. That's what God says. Why don't the Christians ever read or apply that? They don't believe in the Bible. Nobody believes in the Bible today but the Israelites. Now, watch this. Give me Luke 7, 31. Christ got so mad at black people, black and Latin people, he called the men children. He said these are like big children. Big, bo big body, small minded. Christ was when he got tired of us. He marveled at our immaturity. Come on. Luke 7, 31. And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace. Y'all see that Christ said, the men of this generation, the Israelite black and Latin men is like children in the marketplace. Go ahead. He's calling, he's calling, he's insulting us. They are like, they are like unto children sitting in the marketplace and calling one to another and saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you and ye have not wept. So Christ did not dance to their tune. These big kids with wanted Christ to dance to their tune, to follow Rome and do this and that. Christ I'm not dancing to that. So likewise today, brothers and sisters, you have big boys in many of these other camps like big children. Dance to our tune. Dance with us. Play the, play the ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. That's what we did as little kids. We did that as kids. But today you got grown men with that same mentality, that same mindset, okay? Want to ignore the laws of God and come with all kind of foolishness, okay? And want us to dance with them. We're not dancing today. Then the next group, can you come vote? We are not voting with you. No! Okay, give me Ephesians 4, 14. Ephesians 4, 14. 
Ephesians 4.14. That we henceforth be no more children. That we henceforth be no more children. Can somebody tell the black and Latin man to grow up? We must. America lets us. America lets us uh, uh, grow old. Thank you, but not mature. Right. America does not let us become men in this society. You could become right physical men. Right. Big football players to run up and down the gridiron, but got a mind like a child. Exactly. Come on. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. With every wind of doctrine. Shalom, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC. To stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.